it's high noon, almost two in the afternoon in February. The sun is pretty intense. I've got these new reflector tarps. Um, got three of them. I'm glad I did. I, I put one of them on the RTT just to reflect the heat off the roof of the tent. Doesn't need it for water protection, but just to reflect some of that sunlight. Fortunately, it's in the shade right now. Inside the tent is comfortable. Uh, the temperature out here right now, ambient, is, looks like just south of 80. 78 or so. And in that show, that show is 82. 82. And that's showing. All right, so the thermometer's showing about 78, but the infrared showing about 82, 81 and a half. Down here in the shed, oh, it's not good on reflective surfaces. 80, 81. All right, so that's what we're going to call ambient. 81. Um, all right, so now we look at the tent. On, non-reflective, 82 on the shady side. All right, we're gonna go inside, just immediately inside. Same spot, but from reverse, 81 and a half, 81. So it's about the same temperature inside, outside. The thermometer on this wall is showing about the same as outside, 78, 80.5. Okay, you can have variance between all your units. Even when I put those two next to each other, generally a degree or two off. Here's the part I want to get to where the reflectors are at. All right, this is the reflector wall. And I've got reflector on top. 89 on the roof with that one. I'll put these. Now, these are spaced away from the wall. Back to the 81.5. And this is more direct on 84. But on the roof, that, that reflective tarp is laying right on the roof. So, so the heat is going to radiate through there. Can't really use the infrared on the reflective material. Let's see, out here in the sun, 107 on the wood table, 107 degrees. That reflective tarp, the one on top you can tell is not as reflective. This one claims to reflect like 97% of the 98, 99, something like that. I don't remember from the specs. And then I got it pulled away with the with the corners pulled out so you get some airflow underneath it. You don't have that solar energy radiating all the way through. All right, same thing on this side. And we can measure right here on the wall in the sun, 104, 104 degrees right here. And on the inside when we were measuring it, I'll have to go back and look at the data. It was it was near ambient temperature. So this this space that reflective solar energy is, is providing the shade on the sides, making this here in the shade. Look at that. All right, that's cool. All right, right here at the same level, 84.5, 84 degrees. That's right there on the lip. Right here in the sun, six inches away, 100, 101, 100. That's... What little over 10 degrees difference um, radiating through the wall. Obviously, the ambient temperature still can make its way in there. Same thing on this side. Got pulled away from the away from the wall, so the energy is not radiating or convecting through that reflective material into the tent wall. You have to have space underneath. Unfortunately, on top there with my old tarp, not as reflective. And since gravity's there, I don't want to put up a bunch of poles. 
I don't have adequate space. So some of that energy is being reflected. Some of that energy is being radiated or convected through the material through the roof. But it's doing the job I want to do. I've got an ambient day on the warm side. I'm comfortable, but it's not worth running the air conditioner, especially when I have only battery power to run that. So that's my experiment with these re reflective tarps. I'm uh, satisfied. Nominal investment for comfort. And you can see on this side, looking in here, we still have a breezeway coming all the way through. Very comfortable.